Oh, uh, I oiled my scalp yesterday and I've not washed it. So I'm a greasy boy. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be playing with some makeup. We're going to be playing with some new makeup. Some really old makeup, which I probably should not put on my face, but I just found it. And basically I want to have, I just want to have some fun today. My door's open, look how relaxed we are. And yeah, I've got a bunch of new makeup to try. My makeup room looks really, really tidy right now and it's because I've been going through PR and then putting it straight in the attic. Huge mistake because it's all just accumulated up there. So I feel like I'm on top of my shit right now and I am not because it's all upstairs and it needs going through. So I went up and I beat it over. It was really fun. I basically took a little box and I went shopping in my own collection and I've got loads of makeup to try. Some of it's been out for a little while. I'm going to start with the eyes today. I have done my skincare. I'm going to talk you through it just because my skin's really behaving right now. I used the new Fresh Tea Elixir. This is the Skin Resilience Activating Serum. Really glowy. Love it. Hydrating. Then I used my Skin Nova. My Vive Skin Nova. Pride and Joy. One of my favourite products I've ever made. Then I used my La Roche-Posay Antelius. SPF 50. And now I'm going to do my eyes first because I'm going to be playing with some glitter. <laughs> right, let's zoom in. For my eyes today, I've been really, really inspired by TikTok. There's two people in particular who I just think are shit hot right now. Aoife and May. I'll put a video of Aoife's up here, a video of May's up here, just to show you the kind of style. It's like really natural, beautiful makeup, but there's always a little bit of something, something going on. I really enjoy following them uh, and watching their work. I was inspired by them to do something that's kind of natural, not like heavy, heavy glam, but there's going to be something going on. I've got, I have Swarovskis today. I have glitter today. I'm going to start with a product I've never used before, but this brand's been on cult for a little bit. In 1999 it's called. I think the packaging's really cool. I mean, it's just like a little paper bag, so I'm going to open it up. The colour for me was what made it exciting. <laughs> it's brown. It kind of looks a bit khaki to me though. It's called Barna. Barna. Let's have a look. And I'm not going to prep my eyes. I'm going to go straight in with this pencil. Oh god, is it black? No, it is just brown though. I did a campaign for V the other day and I did this on the model and I really loved it. So we're going to do a bit of a side and eye actually. Do you know how I love side and eye, cat eye, fox eye, they're all essentially the same thing. I'm going to sketch out a fun little shape. That was very easy. Cool. I love it already. Don't be scared to just go in and like this with pencils. They're so easy to use. They're so much easier than eyeliner because you can just rub it away. If you look, when I look straight, I'm kind of bringing it back on itself and then when it hits my actual eyelid, I stop. Right, what I really wanted to happen was the pigment to kind of stay nice and opaque, but just blend, but it's kind of disappearing, which is a shame. Like I just want it to stay like this, but I want to be able to drag it out a little bit and when I go over the top, the pigment disappears ever so slightly. I think I can make it work. It still looks nice. I think that this is maybe more for your no makeup makeup layers that don't mind if it disappears. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, to make it side in the eyes, I'm going to bring this pencil in my inner corner and it just adds a little bit of depth. I do not suit a big like cat eye in the middle of my eye. I look nuts. The pencil's formula is, oh god, that, they're completely different shapes. I suppose that's kind of the fun of doing a look like this. Maybe that's why I don't film them so much as well, because there's so much back and forth. I think that's a nice start to the eye look. That pencil, it's nice. It's maybe not my like, all-time, all-time bay when it comes to pencils. For my lid, I want to use the Victoria Beckham Lid Luster in the shade Blonde. This is like a really beautiful iridescent -y, goldy pink and that's going to be our base. I actually have here, I've got the Hourglass Veil, this is an eyeshadow primer. I always use my eye ones to prime my eyes because for me they're the longest last and you get nice coverage but technically I actually don't need coverage today so I'm going to use this eye primer. I'm going to just buff that on in the center i don't i don't think i need too much of this to be honest and then i'm just going to go in with this same brush because now it's a bit sticky oh my god that's so nice i'm going to wet it a little bit with my all nighter and see what happens there oh oh my god that's very beautiful just building that up a little bit right this is so funny this is such a throwback do you remember these these are lit glitters I am not joking, I've had these for like seven years. And you stack them, like you buy your favourite and then you stack them up. I think I got them, I got them from IMAX for sure. And I just looked online and they still do sell. They're $18 each, but they are the best glitters ever. And when I saw them in my drawer, I was like, no way. So I'm going to use the shade ABBA in the size number three, which is kind of like pink. Is that going to be the right vibe? 
<gasps> nope. I'm using the champagne wishes. Holy shit, that was my favorite. That was my favorite. Oh my God. And I would always use the NYX glitter glue, but I don't have any. Wait until you see what happens. It's so nice. I'm gonna use more of the hourglass and I'm just gonna stipple it on top in the center, just like here. So it does kind of dull down what we've just done, but we need something for this to stick to. Otherwise it's gonna go everywhere. I use that every day of my life. I can't remember it having iridescent sparkles sparkle through it. I thought it was just gold and silver. This looks very, very green. 21 year old Jamie would be very, very proud right now that we're still using it. Put a throwback. For mascara, I'm going to use the Valentino mascara. This is the Magnificent Striking Volume Mascara All Day Wear. I've heard unbelievable things about Valentino mascaras. Nice packaging. It's quite light, but to be honest, see really really heavy packaging sometimes i'm just like it's not necessary oh my god i've got glitter in my eye i forgot what that felt like whoa do you know what i like about doing eyes first if it looks good you know that when you do your skin it's going to be amazing this formula is really nice super wet and thick which I really like. You know what I think as well, I like the fact that I've just got bare skin behind my eye makeup. I think that's something that makes it look a little bit more arty and a little bit more stripped back. On my brows, I have already done them before we started filming, 24 hour brow setter and my Gimme Brow in the shade number five. If you've not tried this, I know that loads of you use Gimme Brow already, but try going for a Gimme Brow shade that's really dark compared to your natural brow hair because for me, it just makes everything look so much better. Like I use number six, which is the darkest, that's black. I use that sometimes and it looks so, so good in my humble opinion. Should we zoom out and do our skin? For skin, we're gonna go super, super glowy. I've got a bunch of new products to use and I've got some products that you've already seen before, but they're just my favorite right now and I just want to show you. We're gonna start with the ELF Halo Glow Liquid Filter. Then this product has a choke hold on me. It is so very good. I did, a, I did a job with them on it a couple of weeks ago, but I've been doing a lot of things. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of things recently. It's passed the test on all of them. So I had a full day shoot. Perfect. I had a, that red carpet event. Perfect. I went to a wedding a couple of weekends ago. Perfect. It's just very, very, very good. If you've not tried it, I think it's 14 pounds. It's very worth it. For concealer, I'm gonna use my Modern Radiance Concealer from Vive. Technically, I've not used this on YouTube before, apart from on the Vive YouTube and apart from on my own in secret. This is my latest launch from Vive. I'm so delighted <laughs> that everyone is loving it. This was a, quite a scary one to launch for me. I just really wanted everyone to love it. Uh, I'm gonna use it under my eyes. I'm using the shade M4 everywhere. I have showed different ways of using the concealer. You can use like three different shades to highlight and contour and, and brighten. Honestly, that see for every day, I just want to be able to chuck it on and for it to be perfect and last me all day. And then I just use one shade and it's perfect. Oh, that's a lie. I do always pretty much use my darker shade to add some warmth to my skin, but not today because we've got bronzers to try. So I'm just buffing that in with my foundation brush and I love a pat. See, patting this concealer in with my foundation brush. This is the 117 from Vive and it works so great for patting in. So it's going to be lovely glowy skin, but the concealer is going to give us a really nice amount of coverage. And then right under this eye, super hydrating, but not shiny. And it still, it just looks like skin. And I'm not gonna set right now, I'm gonna wait to the end and honestly see the under eyes with this concealer. Tiny amount of powder under the eyes is all you need. So we're gonna leave the complexion there for the moment, for the base. What I am going to do is go in with my bronzer. I have here the Rose Ink Solar Fusion Soft Focus Cream Bronzer. And I've got the shade Parrot Clay. I love that name. And I'm gonna go straight in with my foundation brush. I have used this before in a different shade. I thought it was really nice. I also love the NARS cream bronzer, but this shade to me was really, in oh, it's not dark enough, is it? I'm gonna go in with the Seychelles shade, and I love using a brush with it, but I've seen people using sponges and it works really well. Tell me this, do you prefer, oh my God, this is a great question. I would like everyone to answer for me, please. Call it research. With cream bronzers, do you prefer like this, where it's a, like a pan where you swirl in with your brush? So think like this, the Say Bronzer, the NARS, the Chanel um, Tante Universelle. I can't remember if that's what it's called or not. Or do you prefer a stick like the Nude Sticks? Or do you prefer a liquid like the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand? What um, is your favourite for cream bronzer? What is your favourite way of application? What's your favourite way to use it? For me, I actually like them all, I think. I think lately I'm kind of enjoying stuff like this more, but I don't know whether it's just because really amazing formulas have come out and really nice products come out looking like this. I really like the smell of this. 
it's kind of earthy. Okay, let's then go in and set our bronzer. I have here the brand new Milt bronzer. This is the ultra matte bronzer in the shade Santa Cruz. So this is a nice heavy component. I like the detail in the front. Cool. So this is this is one of the lightest shades, and it's quite cool toned. Whoa, it is ultra matte. Okay, let's just try it. Interesting, very, very, very dry formula. It's pressed very firm, so you don't need to worry about too much product going on your brush. Let's just try. Oh, it's coming out a lot warmer on the skin, if that makes sense. Compared to what my skin looks like, it looks quite grey, I think, but it's nice. It's actually going on top of the cream really well. For blush, we've got an orange blush today. You might have seen that Benefit repackaged all of their classic cardboard blushes into a different component without the brush. Great move. I've got the shade Butterfly here. They've got a bunch of new shades. They've re revived all the old shades as well. But look how thin it is. I prefer this a lot. I love the old blushes too, but this is nice. And I've not, I've not used it at all. And I like that it's orange. This would be unbelievable on deep skin. Unbelievable. But I'm going to go in, I'm going to tap. Whoa, pigment. They're very pigmented. And this has got shimmer to it too. Oh, it's orange. It's <laughs> bright orange. Wow, you do not need that much. I'm going to pat that back with my foundation brush. Very nice. Oh, that's a very pigmented blush. The shimmer's quite strong in it. Then for highlight, I've got Rose Ink again. This is the cream highlight and brilliant. Again, it's in a pan. Oh, oh yeah, refillable. Don't get a fright if it moves around a little bit. I think you just need a tiny amount. Nice. Do you know what? It's, it's really nice. For a cream highlight, it is quite, it's quite matte. It's got a kind of whipped, moussey texture to it and I think I'm used to quite a lot of cream highlights feeling more like bal balmy, balmy. If I say balmy, that doesn't really sound right, does it? That's nice. See if you're not wanting too much glow, which I can't believe I've just said, but everyone's unique. If you don't want too much glow, that's really nice. I think, I think it is glowy. It's beautiful. It actually, it's really, really, really nice. Okay, let's do our lips. I have two to choose from here from Jones Road. Jones Road for me is so exciting. So for those of you that don't know, Jones Road was started by Bobby Brown the day after her 25 year non-compete ended, or the day of, the day that it ended. So Bobby Brown obviously started Bobby Brown many, many, many a moon ago. Super classic brand, a legacy brand. She obviously was working on Jones Road and launched it the day of the non-compete, which basically means a non a 25 year non-compete is a long time. It's, it basically means that she couldn't start a beauty brand or anything in the beauty industry for 25 years. So she's brought out Jones Road. I think. It's really really cool. Some of the products are, are hit or miss I've seen. You know there's there's a product called What the Foundation which seems very niche. It's for like drier more mature skin. Some people love it, a lot of people don't like it. Their Miracle Balm is blown up everywhere. It's like a it's like a quite a sheer balm blush type product. I find it fascinating but I think the formulations are cool. I think that she I think that she's cool. Her, her TikTok's funny as anything. But what I have here is the lip tint. So I've got Just Peachy and Pink Rose, so let's open them up. And I'm gonna pair this with one of my really dark lip liners, because I think that would be quite fun, quite like 90s. Oh, so that's peachy, I'm guessing. Yep, that's too pink for me. Oh, but it's gonna be a tint. I'm gonna try the Just Peachy one. I love that. That's got way more color in it than I thought it would. It feels like a lip balm, but the color is really nice. I'm gonna use my Vive Modern Lip Definer in the shade Tailored. I'm gonna use this to really overdraw my lips and then I'm gonna rub it in with my finger. See if you're ever wanting to use a really dark lip liner but you're a bit nervous, try doing your lip color first and then using your lip liner because it never, it doesn't have as much dry skin to stick to. So you've got more time to play with it and blend it. And then I'm just blending it with my finger. So it's just a touch softer. So that's everything to me. And look how dark this is by itself. Like it's, it's a really beautiful, like dark, dark brown nude. I have a little bag of Swarovskis. This is from, I can't remember, I think it's from lockdown, but I got them from bluestreakcrystals.co.uk. The website's on the back. I think I got them through lockdown when I was have, I had more time to be more fun with my makeup, didn't I? And I got loads of different sizes. I think that they do crystals for like nail art and stuff. I just went away and got my lashes. They're all, they're glued and ready to get stuck to my eyes. This lip and this mascara is incredible. I'm very pleased. Uh, I'm going to be using just a little lash that I am working on that you will see very soon. Uh, I'm just going to pop this on. I forgot my lash applicator and I am not going down those stairs again. No, I'm not. The lashes are just adding the extra-ness that I needed. 
and I'm pulling them right outside my eye. Right, let's add some Swarovskis. I've got my lash glue, my dual glue, and what I do is I just map out where I want them. I'm gonna do it quite fun, like here on the eye. It, oh God, that's gone quite smudged and messy for my liking. Shit. I just think it's good until it's not. Technically, I actually don't have anywhere to be today, so. It's okay. I'm gonna do a little Swarovski at the end, to try and cover up that smudgy. So layer it there. Let's do an inner corner. Oh, let's just do those three. That's really nice. And I'm gonna get a little brush, and you get just something a little bit tacky for the bottom. So sometimes setting spray will do a little bit of lip balm, and I'm gonna pick up the Swarovski. Oh my God, perfect. And we're just gonna set it on. Cute. That's so nice. Please just try it if you've not tried it before. Even just one at the end of your liner or in your inner corner because see the way it just picks up the light? It's so beautiful. I can see why people like take this on as a personality trait. I do feel kind of special and different. I'm going to add some lower lash mascara. Oh my god, this mascara is amazing. And technically it's still neutral, so I feel like we've all won. Love, love, love. Delighted. Inspired. I'm just going to put a wee bit more of lip balm on. Which you can build right up. Right, let me go away and sort my hair out and I'll be right back. I hope you love it, I love it. <laughs> okay, I just need to powder a little bit. I'm gonna use my new Modern Powder Perfector. Look at this case. Oh, it looks like a vintage cigarette case. That, that was the brief. And inside you've got your refillable powder. This powder is another level. And I'm just gonna use it where I can see that I'm shining. So see my forehead, that's just too much for me. So are you ready for the magic trick? It just blurs skin, softens everything right out, it lasts all day. It's so finely milled, you can't even see it on the skin. It's amazing. Do you know what it's amazing for as well? See if you're not wearing makeup and you want just a little bit of something to take down the shine on your natural skin, you won't even be able to tell. It's just, it's like a soft focus blur on the skin. Do you like how I said I was gonna go and fix my hair and I just took it down? That's the energy I've got today. I think out of everything that I used, everything was so good. Apart from that eye pencil that I used, I think it's just a bit too smudgy for me. I can't imagine that it would last a huge amount of time in the waterline. I think that the concept's cool. It's, oh, it's made of coconut oil. It's just, it doesn't set. I don't think it's got any kind of polyfilmers to help it set down. I think it's a certain type of pencil and that's fine. But for me, I like my products to be able to be like that barely their way, but I also want them to perform how I want them to perform. And for me, it just didn't quite cut it. Products to shout about, the mascara, the oldies but goodies, the lip glitter, I've, I, it's so fun. I love the complexion. The rose ink products for me, I think are definitely kind of more like a glossy wearer type. If I didn't have my powder bronzer to build it up to the level that I like, and I wouldn't say that this is a lot of bronzer for me, then it would look beautiful, but it's very like barely there. Honestly, I just really like it. I think it's really great. I hope you do too. I'll list everything that I use down below. I hope you have a bloody great day. I love you a lot and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I look like a snowman with these three twig arms in this t-shirt. I'm sketching out like the foundation of the wing. Oh, look, I've totally fucked that up. Look at this big girl. <laughs> Mascara. I said that's so weird. See how that just adds definition, like, perfect. Do you know what's stuck in my head? Jessie J going, nip, 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 now, nip, 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 nip